Jacob. Man, when and why did you start producing music, bro? I started producing in high school, so like 14, 15 years old. I've always loved music. I've always been a big piano player. Inspirations, Kanye, Diplo, Beethoven, come from a classical background. I definitely was gonna ask who was your favorite classic pianist. When you start saying stuff like that, do you have like a favorite? Well, the first song I taught myself how to play was The Fairy Least, and I was like eight years old. So I always stuck with Beethoven. Do you have a favorite music moment or maybe studio session that you could share with us? Like what, like what is what is the music moment that stands out to you? A cool moment would just be like, realizing how like I guess singled out I felt growing up or like being in school and stuff and I always went to like the piano room you know and I just kind of stayed there later on I will think back like okay I've been doing this I've been doing this so it's not like just one moment I just stay true to myself through those experiences what advice would you give an upcoming producer that's looking at this video now like man I I go in the piano room too. Really make sure it's for you. Like, um, or no matter what society is trying to tell you, what you think they're telling you, if you feel it in your heart, you feel it in like your gut, you feel it in your brain, there's like those three. That, and it may happen early, it may happen later on, but trust those three things and then you'll get where you want to be. Honestly, out of all of the beats that we heard, your beats definitely stood out. And man, you definitely did your thing, man. Welcome to this Clutch City Beats gang. Thank you know what I'm saying? Hey, for sure, bro. I'll meet you in the piano room after this. Get out yeah, of here. Let's go. Let's get out of here, bro. You can check out his sounds live inside Toyota Center at the Houston Rockets game. H-Town. You know what it is. Hey.